and we can also make full use of this short trip inside to give us some message. This is the 23rd session of the Harbin Ice and Snow World this year. We have made a lot of ice and snow creatures and statues. We would like to take this opportunity to introduce this event to all the people living in this country. And you're always welcome to come to the city of Harbin and have some personal experience here by yourself. We have just passed by a very giant statue made of pure ice, and over there we have also used the feature of the five rings of Olympic Games. We have created five inter-correlated rings symbolizing the Olympic Games. If you can take the drone and you look at this symbol from a by, from a bird's view, then you can see clearly the shape of the five rings. And now we are inside one of the five rings, and you can feel the shiny gleams of all those rings made of ice. All those eyes applied here, they are from the nature, from the Songhuajiang River. And we have also reused 30,000 cubic meters of last year's edition. We have added many more cubes of ice, newly collected from the nature. And you can feel that they are very clear and pure ice cubes. It feels like we are walking inside a real castles of ice and snow, and we are in the real world of ice and snow now. It feels like we are walking into the story of Elsa. Every year, we have this main tower for the Harbin Ice and Snow World, and each year we may attribute a new thing or topic to the main statue, to the main tower, and this year we also have come up with a new idea. And we are changing the lighting color of this statue. Every year we choose a different topic. And the inspiration of this year's main tower comes from the Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics. So you can see different colors intertwined together, and also there are some stages, some stairs leading from the bottom to the top of this tower. Do you know how many stairs there are? Actually, it's 24. Why the number 24? Because this year we celebrate the 24th session of the Winter Olympic Games. So we would like to attribute this ice and snow statue of tower to the celebration of the Beijing 2022 Winter Olympic Games. And here we are standing on the big platform made of ice too. And so many people have been gathered here. It's really a crowded place.
他对，不，他就选那个配色的，红和黄。So my favorite colors are red and yellow. Looks like the major color of the flames. We are surrounded by a lot of people here, so you can tell the enthusiasm of the local. Citizens and also some other visitors from the other provinces of the country. And today is the first day of the opening of this event. And for the citizens of Harbin City, they are really crazy for those creatures and the statues made of ice and snow. And they are so fond of this ice and snow event called the Harbin Ice and Snow World. And every year around this moment, a lot of people would call to ask the question, this year when could we expect to see the opening of the new session of Harbin Ice and Snow World? And the ambient temperature is also freezing.
概整个的，我我我不了，我我我没统计过整个一个主塔用的这个工人啊。I don't know the exact number of the workers for the construction of the main tower, but it is estimated to have employed 500 people. And in total, we have spent like nine days in constructing the main body of the statue. So, you know, after building the main body of the statue, you also have to deal with all the details like polishing each block of the ice. Uh, this is called the bell of the century. It's very interesting. Until this year, we have celebrated 23 versions of Harbin Ice and Snow World, and every year we change all the statues and landscapes made of ice and snow. But there's one thing remained for 23 years. This is the bell, and first inaugurated by the year 1999. And because there are too many people now surrounding this bell, we will not go a little bit nearer to it. And you can also find some pillars of ice here. Every time when we strike on the bow, you can feel the waves of the sound. And with the waves of the sound, you can also see the vibration of the columns of ice. So we have also prepared a very long axis of the sightseeing. Remember how long we have traveled from the very beginning, from the entrance until now.
你就别走了，咱就咱就定在这儿，完了说两句就收了就得了。我开了，我开了，你能看着听着吗？来，一二。Dear viewers, welcome back to our program. Actually, today is the first day of the test round of the 23rd Harbin Ice and Snow World, but there are already so many people here, and also caused by this freezing weather outdoor. Sometimes the signals are not really satisfying, but imagining. A little bit. This cold weather cannot stop people coming to this area, especially for the visitors from the southern part of China. They are not used to this freezing weather. So, do you have some tips for those people who are not used to this freezing weather? For people who come from the southern part of China, please wear heavy clothes, wear as much as you can, and also wear the gloves and also the boots as well as some hats. And one more tip for you to better enjoy the Harbin Ice and Snow World: you have to. Get yourselves involved totally into the games and events arranged by our people here in the Harbin Ice and Snow World. The temperature is the same here or in the downtime. But since we are inside this whole area covered by the snow and ice, of course the body temperature would be much lower here. And because you are staying outdoor for at least one hour or much more, like two hours and three hours more, you can also have some heaters with you. At least you will stay warm. And because people from around the country, they are watching our live streaming program, could you please share some words with them? I hope you can continue to come to visit our wonderland, and we will also do our best to present to all the visitors and tourists the best works made of ice and snow. Thank you very much. It's been several times that we have come to this place to give you the live pictures of the Harbin Ice and Snow World, but I believe that it's the must-visit place. You have to come in person, otherwise you cannot feel the real charm and beauty of those blocks and cubes of ice and snow. So sincerely, I hope that all the viewers of today's program, you could come in person to the city of Harbin to enjoy the beauty of the city and especially this theme park of ice and snow. So that is the end of today's program. Thank you.